Hi, this is Kim Leppert with Sly Life Counseling. Today I want to talk a little bit about sleep and the importance of sleep. I have this funny little analogy that I use, and maybe it sounds silly to some of you, but I love it, um, about sleep and how it helps clear our mind. So if you imagine that your brain is your desk at work or your desk at home or wherever it is that you do your work, and you have all of these nicely um, stacked little files and all these things around and as your day goes on you pull things out and you open them up and you put little post-it post notes on top of things and you might put a phone number here or a reminder there and you have all these little things going around on your desk all day long as you go through the day just to make sure you remember things and to get back to them and at the end of the day if you just take a minute at your desk and you put things away and you finish filing that post-it note or you put that file back where it was and you clear your desk every day the next day when you come into your desk you have a very organized workspace and so what you're going to do that day is you're going to add on and you're going to add on and then you're going to clear your desk at the end of the day and that's kind of a healthy practice if you're somebody with a lot of clutter what you end up doing is putting notes upon notes upon notes and then when you need to find something you have to dig underneath and dig underneath and find what you're looking for and it gets frustrating sometimes imagine that your brain is that desk and that at night these I always say these little elves come in and they clear your desk for you although it would be great if they came and cleared my desk in my office at the end of the day we don't get that but our brain has a way of clearing off its desk every night when we go to sleep so when we wake up in the morning we have this clear-headed thinking and we with a good night's sleep we actually think more logically so what happens when you have a good night's sleep is that you go into some REM sleep REM sleep is that eye movement and that's, that's what EMDR is. It's that processing of information and organizing it and reorganizing it in your brain. And what has been shown is that when you wake up, you have the most clarity you're gonna have all day. As you go throughout your day, what you'll find, and what you do understand and see, is that your brain gets cluttered with things and you're not thinking as clearly at your two o'clock meeting as you were thinking at your 8.30, 9 o'clock meeting. And that's because the further you get away from your last good REM sleep, the less clarity that you have. And so think about the ways that we can use that information in our everyday life. Businesses are aware of that. They have their morning meetings, they have their things that they do, but after lunch, it's really kind of action time. They don't want to meet so much anymore. And if you do meet in the afternoon at work, what you're going to probably see is a bunch of people kind of disjointed and not as engaged as they would be earlier in the day. Um, and if you have an issue to talk about with your spouse and you talk about it after dinner or after the kids have gone to bed, you may not find a solution to your problem and sometimes you end up going round and around and around and around and around about something, never really coming to a conclusion. You get a good night's sleep and you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, that was easy. Honey, let's just do this. And the other person goes, you're right. You know, why did I get so upset last night? Let's talk about that after the kids go to bed tonight. Then you rehash the thing the same way you did the day before because you still don't have that clarity. So this information, this piece about having this good REM sleep and starting your day with clarity, tackling hard projects when you're clear, tackling decisions in your family when you're clear, having conversations with your partner over brunch instead of dinner, all of these things are really scientifically proven to be helpful. We don't want to stay up all night hashing something out, out with our partner that when we wake up the next day, we know that we're just going to feel bad about or we're going to find this easy solution that if we'd have just slept on it, we would have the solution anyway. Um, so keep that in mind, just a little tidbit there. Get some good night's sleep. Um, really try to focus on a sleep routine. Go to bed at the same time if you can. Wake up at the same time if you can, even on the weekends. Uh, try not to drink a lot of alcohol at night because that disrupts your sleep. It might feel like you're getting good sleep, but you're really not. Um, and, and so try to turn off those electronics about 30 minutes before you go to bed and just kind of set the stage for sleep in your room. I think that's really super important. Um, and make sure you get that sleep. Let your brain heal, let your brain rest, and then find that clarity in the morning. So anyway, just a tip. If you want to find out more about Flyleaf Counseling and myself, you can go to flyleafcounseling.com. We're on Instagram at flyleaf underscore counseling. And you can find all of our videos on YouTube at Flyleaf Counseling. So you have to go in and search Flyleaf Counseling. And we're there. So I hope you have a great day and get some good sleep.